Well, 2018 has only just started and we have a massive vulnerability affecting all operating systems for all owners of Intel CPUs. Great, so that's not many people, is it? <laughs> yeah, a lot. So a paper has been put together by a bunch of eggheads in the Graz University of Technology in Austria, and it's to do with the address-based layout randomization. The modern operating system kernels employ address-based layout randomization to prevent control flow hijacking attacks and code injection attacks. While kernel security relies fundamentally on preventing access to address information, recent attacks have shown that hardware directly leaks this information. Strictly splitting kernel space and user space has recently been proposed as a theoretical concept to close these side channels. However, this is not trivially possible due to architectural restrictions on the x86 platform. So the paper presents an alternative called Kaiser, kernel address isolation to have side channels effectively removed. Not a great acronym. So Kaiser protects against Kaiser protects against double page fault attacks, prefetch side channel attacks, and TSX based side channel attacks. Finally, we demonstrate that Kaiser has a runtime overhead of only 0.28%. It's actually a little bit worse than that, as we'll come on to later in this video. And on the wiki page about it, we have kernel page table isolation (KPTI), previously called Kaiser. This is a an alternative name given to the acronym. It is a hardening technique in the Linux kernel to eliminate hardware security related bug in modern Intel x86 CPUs by better isolating user space and address space memory. KPTI was merged into Linux kernel 4.15 to be released early 2018 and backported into Linux kernel 4.14.11. Microsoft Windows implemented an identical feature in Windows 10 build uh, 17035 RS4 which I believe will be released in the Microsoft Tuesday of January 2018, so in a couple of weeks' time. Apple's macOS was similarly updated with KPTI in the 10.13.2 update. So in 2005, Linux kernel adopted address-based layout randomization, which makes it more difficult to exploit kernel vulnerabilities, which rely on kernel addresses remaining hidden from user space. Despite prohibiting access to these kernel mappings, it turns out there are several side channel attacks in current Intel x86 processors as of December 2017 that can leak the location of this memory, making it possible to work around Kastler. AMD x86 processors are not affected by the attacks and do not need KPTI to mitigate them. At this point, there doesn't seem to be any malware in the wild exploiting this vulnerability, however, proof of concepts have been written. This is a bit of information from Linux, and several people, including Linus, requested a change in the Kaiser name. We came up with a list of technically correct acronyms, user address space layout separation, prefix UAS, forcibly unmap complete kernel with interrupt trampolines, prefix fuckwit, but we are politically correct people, so we settled for kernel page table isolation, prefix KPTI. We do have confirmation from AMD that they are not vulnerable to the attack. So AMD processors are not subject to the type of attacks that the kernel page table isolation features protect against. The AMD microarchitecture does not allow memory references, including speculative references, that access higher privileged data when running in lesser privileged mode, when that access would result in a page fault. And this is a bit of a clue about the problems with Intel. They are running speculative references in order to speed up execution. Uh, and this is a bit of a clue about exactly what is happening, the speculative execution. This page dates back to July 2017 and details an attack against Intel then. So these things have been known about. Intel processors allow speculative execution of ring three code, that is user code, that writes to ring zero memory, supervisor memory, the processors do properly block the write, but the speculative execution minutely disturbs the processor state because certain data will be loaded into the cache and the TLB, the translation look aside buffer. In order to ascertain whether the write should be allowed, this in turn means that some operations will be a few cycles quicker or a few cycles slower, depending on whether the data is still in cache or not. As well as this, Intel processors have a special feature, such as the Software Guard Extensions, SGX, introduced with Skylake processors, that slightly change how attempts to access memory are handled. Again, the processor does still protect ring zero memory from ring, ring three programs, 
but again its caches and other internal states are changed, creating a measurable difference. What we don't know yet is how much kernel memory information can be leaked to user programs, or how easily that leak can occur, and which Intel processors are affected. Again, it's not entirely clear, but indications are every Intel chip with speculative execution, which the mainstream processors introduced since the Pentium Pro from 1995 can leak information this way. The loss of speculative execution will slow some programs down considerably. This is some information from PostgreSQL, and they've suffered between a 7 and 23% reduction in speed. There is quite a big real-world impact to this, especially on cloud computing. I wouldn't get too worried about anything just yet because there's no proof of concept malware in the wild. However, you will need to get your software patched at some point because this is something that malware authors could reverse engineer and abuse. But thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.